to making a shame black. Here we are. This is day one. That's my man, Big Lou, what it do. And um, we're here in Roubaix, and um, we're about to film. In a little bit, we're setting up all the lights. Everything's going good. Let me start at the beginning. Cam said, let's shoot a movie. Vinyl was like, yo, I'll write the script. And for me, it was killing two birds with one stone. I got to shoot our film and my thesis project at the same time. Man, do I have a story to tell. It started in Dallas with a 10 hour delay. We're in Dallas. We've been here since about 11 o'clock today and we're supposed to be flying to Frankfurt. But as you can see, me and the rest of my crew are all still sitting here. Now, the reason we're sitting here is because American Airlines couldn't get us out. So now we have to fly to London and then to Frankfurt to begin our shoot. So until then, you know, I'll just keep giving you guys posts and let you know what's going on. All right, peace. Last time we were in Europe, we all got sick. But vinyl wasn't going for it this time. Check out the doctor's mask. Crazy is not the term to describe the events of today. When we got to Frankfurt, they had lost all our bags. So we stayed the night waiting, then decided to just roll to France. We ended up being two days late because of all of that. The crew was new mostly and had never been to Lille before. So the first night they partied. They're not working 24 hours a day. You know what I'm saying? So when, when, you know, if it's going to be something where we can, we can get it done, you know what I'm saying, efficiently, then cool. You know what I'm saying? The next day, Vinyl gave a pep talk. We talked about how dope it was that a crew of people from Alaska, L.A., Chicago, and Paris were in Lil shooting a movie of our own, created, directed, and shot by us. It's, it's an old style, it's a, an original style, film noir, you know what I'm saying? We're doing it in black and white, you know what I mean? People watch old movies, you know what I'm saying? But it's a very distinctive it's style, it's simple to do, but we have a new story, you know what I'm saying? And we got this guy, right. you know what I'm saying? Shay, you remember what I'm saying? I can barely hear you clapping over the voices in my head. But I, appreciate, I appreciate what I almost heard. It felt like the world was flying by. Out here, Lil Fred's first day of shooting. About to get it in. You know how we do it. To make something real epic. The scene we shot had Mike throwing a dead girl into a crate and Lou holding Shane and Julie at gunpoint. That scene took a couple takes. So while Vinyl got everybody in their right places, the rest of the crew, we had a little bit of fun. This shit is like more imported shit in here, where France is like job France car. <laughs> After 300 meters, leave the roundabout at the second exit for the N21. I said you're rope, rope, rope. I said you're roaming the house. I said you're roaming the house. I will watch mail. This is Cafe Central in Brussels. What it do? We out here Brussels today. Cafe Central had a dual purpose. One, we had a show, and we had a scene to shoot while they were doing the show. Shane's a rapper in the movie. And the Shadow Hunters had shows scattered through the time we would be there, so we knew we'd be shooting. <laughs> oh, and did I mention we get down? Afterwards, we all just kind of kicked it outside. It was cool watching Cam work the crowd. As a filmmaker, you always wish for something. But Vinyl was real chill about it. I wish we had more time to do proper setups. And I wish I had uh, 
No, nah, you know what? I don't wish for anything because what it's supposed to be is what it is right now. So that's what we're going to roll with. Yeah. Next morning, we were right back at Second day. It. Second day of shooting, man, and we still pushing. We went to party last night. I had a blast. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Now I'm up. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. I done got my coffee in me. I got my cigarette. I'm feeling great. I got my blood, my little brother Malin behind the camera. I'm doing, I'm doing the most, you know? It's nice out. It's not raining. You know what I'm saying? It's not as cold as it's been. So we kicking it. We're going to go to La Monterey and uh, shoot some more shit. We'll see y'all on the other side. We shot two scenes inside La Monterey and did a show. Then we went and shot a scene where Shane's being chased by a villain. We had to make smoke for a scene we were shooting at the warehouse. Now the easy way to do this is dry ice, but dry ice is illegal in France. So Live Wire Lou, the crew's impromptu handyman, came up with a solution. You know that smoke is going. Right. Look. Right. My fog juice is on point. Right. Most noir films contain a Dutch angle shot, so Vinyl and I were always looking for a place to put one in at. We're just going to pick it up from here. Okay. So it's basically a. Uh, like you got it. Is it oh, that's the one I'm trying to tell you about the Dutch, or did you scratch it? Yeah, I was thinking about that. But I don't know that we could do that on the dock. Lose makeshift smoke added that missing element that we needed. Malwin, or Mr. Johnny on the spot, as we called him was always running. Vinyl would ask him to do something, and before he could get it all out, poof, Malin was gone. As for Cam, I'm sure he felt like he was getting worked to death with all the shows and the shooting, but he was always laughing and joking in between. The next night, we shot in this mini-mark called Casino. Malin played a grumpy cashier. And Lou, <laughs> well, we all know Lou. Lou just played. That's how he got the name Live Wild Lou. He had a way of keeping everything lively and fun. The last shoot was at the house we rented. I think that's when it started to hit everybody, you know, exactly what we had done. We had a kill Wingate catch the train from Paris. He played the mastermind. And who else would play his goon? None other than Live Waterloo himself. We rapped that night. We got on the road the next morning. We were all going back to our normal lives. But what we had done here would live forever. It's me, Marsh. I got my man Marv here. Hello, everybody. Day Day's in the back. We ended up having to leave Marv in Germany after someone stole his passport while we were in Amsterdam. We've been on the road for a while now, it's our third week. Uh, right now we're currently right outside of Frankfurt. We just dropped vinyl off, uh, Michael Ryan, the director of the film Shane Black. Um, now we're on the road, we're heading to Amsterdam. He made it back a day later, but I'll tell that story another time. I'm sure you'll be seeing more of us in a minute. He said, 